today. From Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Denver Broncos. Okay, folks, and we're back here on this Madden 21 career mode featuring Marcus Taylor. One thing I would like to do is take the time out to talk about why we're doing this series. Well, for one, Sports Center has ranked this defense as being one of the top 10 defenses in all of football for this year. That's number one. So we're adding a, a good star to a great defense. Two, look at the schedule for this squad. We started out with New York and gave them that business. Today we're playing Denver. And upcoming teams on the schedule are Cincinnati. In no particular order, Cincinnati. Cleveland. Dallas. Philadelphia. Baltimore. Jacksonville. Tennessee. Washington. And those Texans. Just looking at that schedule alone. We know that this is going to be a wonderful season, something challenging, and I love the challenges, as well as a good outlook for great videos coming up. So I'm really excited on this. And speaking of great defenses, look at this defense laying down the boom! One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there. Is that a Colin Kaepernick in the backfield? Hmm. Okay. Throwing on first down is Kaepernick. And he completes it to, complete to Scott Miller. the receiver for Every about a good seven yards. Lead, but a very consistent type okay, of Colin. play. Keep it on you. Slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second air right, up right now. The defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front, so it's a good chance. Oh, oh, God, screw that. Play the music for the other Big team. Time play. And now they'll come up on a first and ten. <laughs> now Kaepernick. Oh man, Kaepernick got me looking in the backfield. The tight end. I blew my assignment. Damn! Uh, coach is gonna have my ass in the ring for that one. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. They score all right, here we go First trying to stop the team from getting that extra no point. That all the points they scored opening weekend Kick is up. Are going to it's good. Be the and the team long. ties it They're up 7-7. That type of a pace. And what you do with that is you put in the heads of... Kaepernick now on first down. This is the tight end fan. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the third. And it's second down. Kaepernick jumps back. 
He throws. Long pass. Bounce it up in the air. Great pass by Kaepernick, but it would falls incomplete. Third and foul on the play. Kaepernick drops back. Ball is almost picked off by the defensive lineman. Denver has to do, has to put the ball off to the Steelers. James Conner and the Steelers ready to get their next drive going. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all. Is it? First and ten with three eighteen left in the second quarter. Denver finds himself with their backs at the at the wall. Kaepernick looks over the defense. Oh, did you see that hit by Marcus Taylor? My goodness. Woo! Yes! Besides that one big mistake by Marcus Taylor, I believe that the defense is really holding up to its potential. Okay, the down is now second and seven with Kaepernick with the ball. Kaepernick drops back. He throws. The ball is now intercepted. Defender brings the ball back. He's brought down at the 10 yard line. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Made by the All right, now we're down at second and eight. Captain with the ball. Captain is trying to recover from that last interception. He throws. The ball's tipped up. The ball is intercepted again. Bring the ball back. Is he going to the house? Touchdown, Pittsburgh. First and ten. Kaepernick still trying to recover after now his Kaepernick second pick. Looks like he has a little concussion or something. Kaepernick's under pressure, pressure and he is set. Second and 21. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Tim Pat. That threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that it is now third and 21 after that cabinet sack. They run the ball. Oh, he's going for a long run. And the defense finally brings the ball carrier down to the ground at the 32-yard line. 
on third and long, not able to get the first, but a pretty good size play call that you can Okay, the defense is set up for the punt, which will bring the offense back onto the field. Hopefully, they can get another touchdown or a three point score to put even more pressure on Denver's offense. Okay, folks, we're back here after halftime. Capping it with the ball. He drops back, throws the ball to the flats, and, the, and Miller runs it out of bounds. Okay, we're at second and four. Capping it with the ball. Capping it gives it to Gordon. Gordon runs out to the side, and Taylor brings him down short of the first down. Okay, people, that was a mistake. Gordon actually did pick up the first down. It's now first and ten. Captain with the ball. He is intercepted for the third time this game. What is going on with Kaepernick today? That is three interceptions on the day. Is it the defense or can Kaepernick actually figure out what the defense is doing? And it's not looking good for him here. So here are the Steelers to take over on offense. They were winners last. Okay, we got first and ten. I guess Denver is going to keep the ball on the ground after that third interception. Try and get the ground game Gordon going. with the ball, Gordon. and he's brought down with and looks like a two-yard behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second. Some assistance. On second down, here's Capper. This throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to find Noah Fan. Off on that throw. Third and eleven. Capper with the ball. But you're good at it. Well, Capper goes to the screen. Good, I am. But it doesn't take and he, he gains about, exactly looks described. like, 11 yards the for the first down. down. First and 10, and Denver coming out in the I formation. Captain drops back the handoff to the running back. Running back looks like he gains about four yards on the play. Second and seven, Denver comes out in his third formation. Capping it with the ball. He throws it. First down for Denver. And it looks like the Denver is starting to move the ball. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Third quarter is a come. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, YouTube and of Massive Gaming. YouTube, please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know when these videos are coming out. Thank you from YouTube.
for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It is now first and ten. They'll go with the ball. Kaepernick drops back. Kaepernick's under pressure. And Kaepernick goes down. Okay, we're now here after the sack. It is now second and 23. Kaepernick with the ball. He drops back. He throws. And the ball is intercepted for the fourth time today. What is Kaepernick doing? Never with the ball is now first and ten. Kaepernick drops back. He throws. Incomplete. That incompletion has not been put through the ringer in this one. Never with the ball. Second and ten. Kaepernick looks over the defense again. Kaepernick will try again on second down. Completes the pass. Complete. And he's gonna get seven out of this three. Okay, the Broncos are now at third down. Kaepernick with the ball. This time it's third and three. He looks over the defense. Now he goes back. And he is sacked for the fourth time today. Denver comes out trying to keep hope alive on a 4th and 11. Obvious passing down. Kaepernick drops back. He throws the ball. And it's completed for a first down at the 40-yard line. No reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on 4th. 4th down trailing in the 4th quarter. They felt compelled to go for it. Denver comes back out in the spread formation. Maybe they feel that the momentum is finally changed into their favor. Captain drops back, completes the ball at the 48-yard line. Denver is obviously feeling good about itself moving the ball. They come out in another passing down. Captain drops back, throws, and the ball is intercepted again. Again? What the devil went? Are we taking it to the house? It's to the house! I don't know if it's four, five, or six interceptions on the day. Kaepernick is definitely struggling on the game. I don't know if this is just a bad day, he's sick, or what's going on. But Kaepernick is definitely having problems with this defense. Denver back on the field. Kaepernick overlooks the defense. After the pick six, they go right Kaepernick the rolls to the right. He throws back left and completes the pass. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? Did you see that play? Kaepernick does it again with another spectacular pass. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week trying to get some momentum going. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Kaepernick now on first down. Able to get this to Gordon. 
six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And this time he's able to take it down. Denver takes the field after those last two successful pass plays. Kaepernick drops back. He throws to the screen. Gordon with the ball. Gordon gets the first down and is brought down by Marcus Taylor. Denver with the hurry up offense. Kaepernick flows left. Throws back right. Completes the pass. The runner runs out of bounds. You would probably ask yourself, where was all this offense at the beginning of the game? For the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game collectively. It's on Second and four. Kaepernick looks over the defense. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took he drops off. back. You guys figure it out. He yeah, throws he over the middle for a completion. Kaepernick hurries the offense back to the line. He drops back. He rolls to the right and is brought down by the defender. Kaepernick hurries the offense back to the line. He drops back. He throws. He completes the pass to his tight end. Almost for a first down. And that's it, folks. That's the end of the game. Denver just received a shot. Whack it. A good old-fashioned backyard ass kicking by the Steelers from Pittsburgh. I thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell where you know these, these videos are coming out. I thank you for watching. And until next time, please take care of yourself and each other. Peace. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Houston Texans next week. Meanwhile, for Denver, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.